Joyce, are you saying that the bare bones expectations of capitalism don't accurately reflect the nuances <laughs> and richness of being alive? <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> Actually, you're not. Why <laughs> <laughs> we're a good pair? I ramble, and she makes it a this succinct. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of capitalism and <laughs> what is expected of us, so so this program, this listener and residence program, is is not a traditional art gallery project. It, it isn't. A lot of projects that I curate, I get questions from uh, individuals saying, why is this art? This is an ongoing part of my curatorial process of always being questioned and always having many answers, but not everyone, of course, agrees. What do you think are the values of having kind of this more non-traditional, because many people think of art galleries, they think we're going to paint landscapes, we're going to sculpt figures and that's kind of in general you know there's different perceptions of art but I think that's a generic one that is shared uh by by a lot of the public so what kind of values do you think in having these kind of non-traditional art programs I think the first thing that comes to mind for me is this idea of process versus product Mm -hmm. and how we've been taught I think in by kind of the institution taking over our creative minds Mm -hmm. that a final product is necessary and is the art piece. When I actually think that that couldn't be farther from the truth. Like I think that the creative process is what makes something creative. And so, you know, kind of returning back to the beginning of our conversation about how like building a relationship became a creative process for Joyce and me. I think that speaks to the limits of seeing art as something that is on a page and is decontextualized and isn't in the world and isn't in community and isn't just an everyday part of being alive. And I guess the other thing that comes to mind is the archive and like this construct that we have of the archive and like what we get to save and what we think is worthy of documenting. And obviously, I mean, that that's a much longer conversation that yeah, I think folks and a lot of queer folks are, are having within art gallery spaces because, you know, historically art galleries haven't been affirming of subversive ways of creating. You know, I think that that is what art is all about. And so part of that is breaking up, you know, how can the process become archive and like how can a relationship become a piece of art, you know? And I think those are questions that are worthy of being on the table, even if they sound silly. And they're also, I think, caught up in like returning to the experience of queerness and like what that can offer. It, I was reminded as you were speaking, Juliet, that, you know, it's just like binary code, right? You know, like we see the world in black and white. It's ones or zeros. You know, well, we know that isn't true about gender. So why would it be true about anything else? Right. And, uh, you know, and in, in my meditation tradition, we view life as sacred. And that art, like life, is part of everyday life, right? You know, it's just part of, we think it's kind of like art, not art. Mm -hmm. And that, I think, that sort of binary approach to it is just not operational. If we come back to the topic of our, you know, queer community, it's kind of like, you know, there's kind of those levels that take us from acceptance, from, you know, discrimination to acceptance, right? And, you know, and it's along that spectrum. And uh, my firm value is that diversity creates richness. If if we have this idea that we're still learning in this world and now we need to learn how to save the world, and <laughs> what does that mean about our behavior and what we choose to do? So um, I'll get off my soapbox. (laughs) And I feel like you both beautifully expressed how much like the importance of bringing a queer theory or a queer lens into institutions, be it art 
galleries or be at other institutions because you know it's it's hard to express out, outside of a queer community um but like that Joyce you're, you're you touched on like the like transient nature which I feel like is often a queer experience of of transient in identity transient in in sometimes community and even the archives Juliet that you were talking about of like often collecting what was thought to be as important which isn't necessarily a, a representation of what there is uh in this world of art 